Come on, man. <laughs> Can't get to it this time, huh? Your shadow's like, I found you. This is how you could tell it's fertile. So this is a bad egg. Heavy container with all these eggs in there. Just yesterday, I was talking about Shadow laying her last clutch and it being the last one of the season. And now Popeye is digging a nest. Well, actually, she's already laying her eggs, as you can see there. Popeye lays big eggs, so she lays a little bit slower than the other tortoises, but big eggs mean big babies. So far, she's only laid two eggs. But check out how big those are compared to the other tortoises, that is. Luna's the one that lays the smallest clutches check this out completely tortoise proof <laughs> gotta thank my grandfather for this invention that he just put together look at this <laughs> amazing <laughs> this is the best thing oh, here it comes this one's a little bit smaller come on man <laughs> can't get to it this time huh finally look at him look at him they're really trying Oh, she makes little cute noises. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. It's hot. Very. Well, yeah, I wasn't prepared for this. I'm in my pajamas right now. It's hot and sweatpants. This tortoise is about to bite me. I just finished shipping out Solcata tortoises. So if you guys are interested in getting some Solcatas, make sure you head over to shadowsreptiles.com. We're gonna be having a ton of babies this year. This is Popeye's fourth clutch. Shadow laid her fourth clutch yesterday. All the other tortoises have laid three. And I don't know if they're gonna lay another, but these guys have been doing crazy this year. They've been laying so much. All right, let's see. It looks like she laid two more. Now when you're done, we're going to get some of this and put it all over your face. No, for thank your, you. For your skin. You could try that out. No, I got perfect skin. It's 100 likes and he'll do that. We'll test it out for you guys. Yeah, I will. I will. For 100 likes, we'll do it. <laughs> well, she's working hard. Got Ooh. Nick's over here chilling. She's like my little, little cheer. Ah, they're trapping me. <laughs> this one was on my hand. Got one fresh one. She's actually laying pretty quickly. Popeye usually lays a little bit slow since she lays big eggs. Her shadow's like, I found you! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, they scared her. Yeah, they're super cool. I mean, they're just curious. They want to hang out with me. But they're not bad at all. They don't, they're not trying to fight or disturb her or anything. They're definitely not trying to like mess with me or the eggs. They're just trying to hang out. Goodness, they're so cute. Yeah. These are my babies. I've had them. I've had Luna since 2018. I got Nix and Popeye in 2019. I got the nameless one and Popeye. Wait, I said Nix and Popeye, right? I meant Nix and Shadow in 2019. Yeah. Um, honestly, I forgot Popeye and and the nameless one. It was probably 2020 or so. They're starting to get smaller. That's something I've noticed. Usually when they lay, the smaller ones come towards the end of the clutch. The bigger ones are the first ones to pop out. She's the first one that I hear that makes this noise. No, they always do that. Really? Yeah. Probably pushing a little bit harder and louder. That's why you hear it, but they always make that type of noise. And Tank's watching. Tank, Tank's a proud father. <laughs> He's like, yep. You work like, hard, baby. Yep, I made that. <laughs> I think Tank's reached over 400 babies this year. We're gonna have to check when we get home. I have everything tracked down. So we're gonna check my log and we're gonna see how many babies he's gonna have. This one might be the last clutch of the year, but we'll see. I feel like Nyx might have another one in her. So far, Nyx has only laid, I think, two or three times. I don't know if she's laid three times yet. There was just an extra tiny one, so I couldn't even feel it. Oh, they're getting so tiny. I know, that's what I'm saying. They're getting smaller and smaller. The first ones barely fit in here. And look at the little one. Oh. It's about to not fit, but because it's smaller. 
because that's the thing that obviously fills them up inside so if they have a lot of big eggs they tend to lay less if they have smaller eggs they lay more uh, you're getting a lot smaller now all right she's just touching me she's like let me pet you <laughs> she has such a cute little face yeah nix I, something i've always liked about nix is she's kind of like the aldabras in the sense that she stands tall and her head is like higher you know the to most of the sulcatas are kind of like lower domed i don't know nix is just a little bit of a higher dome and she just stands proud shadow as you can see is kind of the opposite she's a lot lower and, and smaller what's up shadow this is you're such a, a great app. picture just screenshot but yeah i've been having a lot of fun with the sulcatas this year it's a lot more enjoyable now that i finally have them in it's not my property, but you know, it's really close by. I used to have them at my friend's Johnny's house and it was a lot harder to collect the eggs. I missed a lot of hutches probably. Oh, look at this. So focused on the sulcata, we missed a redfoot digging a nest. This is redfoot number nine. And these Colombians are so cute. Follow me around the whole yard. So that means that they've been doing a good job. And by that, I mean the person that sold them back to me that originally bought it from me. They did a really good job raising them. They're very friendly. As you can see, tortoises tend to be very rude boyfriends. He just walked right over her while she's digging her nest, did not care at all. Here's Redfoot number 12. She's really cool because I bought her when she was a little bit smaller. She wasn't a baby, but she was maybe about that big. And she actually laid her first clutch ever with me. One of you guys asked me a few weeks ago in one of my videos how to tell if eggs are fertile. So we're going to go into more detail on that when we get back to the house. All right, let's see. It looks like Popeye's starting to dig. Looks like that's it though. No more eggs. Laid a total of 15 eggs, which it's, it's on the smaller side. But honestly, this was an unexpected clutch. So again, these guys have done really good this year. I'm gonna make sure I watch her cover it, although usually once they start covering up, they don't keep laying. So I'm gonna just make sure she covers a little bit more and we'll let her be. It's finally time to check the incubator. Let's see, we got three little red foots hatching out. It looks like that's about it. I have some sulcatas hatching up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these red foots into this container. It's three babies from number one. Look at that big old yolk sack there. I'll put this in here until the baby completely absorbs that. Let's see one more baby. This box helps a lot with the humidity since the babies need that to hatch out. We don't want their yolk to dry up. And it looks like that's going to be it for the red foots. I ran out of the plastic boxes, so I just left the eggs in the egg carton the other day. But I got some new ones in, so we're going to swap them out. Let's see, these are Popeyes. So these were the ones laid yesterday. These back here, let's see. These are shadows. So we're gonna move these up. We're gonna be starting with the ones that were laid first. Actually, you know what? We're not gonna do that. We're gonna actually put these two into the new container. But we're still gonna start with shadows. Then we need to candle these eggs here. Let's see, these are Nyx from 421. So these are the oldest ones, but we're going to start with these two since they were laid the closest together. Let's see. Let's start with shadows. Now we're going to be unboxing a new set of containers that I want to try out. Hopefully they work out because they look really cool, at least in the pictures. Okay, I have this upside down. There we go. So one thing I don't like is that the bottom is open. I thought it wasn't gonna be like that. Let's see, it might still be good. I'm gonna give them a try. Hmm. I don't know if I like these or not, to be honest. Kind of look cool, but I don't know if it's going to work out in the long run. I just don't like the holes in the bottom, to be honest. I think it'll be okay. 
I'm gonna give it a try. We're gonna leave these eggs in here and see how it does. Either way, this is the end of the season pretty much. It's not wobbly, which is good. I just like these containers because I'm able to stack them on top of each other and not have to like take them all out to work in it. I could take out a single level at a time, which is good. Let's see, So these were laid first, so we'll put these in the bottom. Looks good. They have plenty of space in there, so it's not like it's too tight. The one thing that honestly threw me off was just having holes there. And the reason why that's a problem is because if I have a bad egg and it explodes on the top, it's going to go to the bottom and it's going to cover them in nastiness. But I rarely ever experienced that with the sulcatas. So maybe we'll just leave this uh, boxes for the sulcatas. It'll probably be best that way. Popeyes. Well, Popeye only laid a few the other day. It's going to be kind of a waste, to be honest, to put them in here, but oh well. You know what I'll do? I'm going to get Nix's and we'll put them all together. Got Nix's babies right here. And then these eggs are actually from Shelly. I don't know if you guys remember Shelly. She used to be my channel a very long time ago. I actually sold her, and the person that bought her from me uh, called me and gave me her clutch. This is her second clutch. We have another one up uh it's right here so we're gonna see if they're fertile hopefully they will be let's see so if we do this we're going to have to mark all of the eggs we're gonna check on the eggs make sure that they're fertile or not like i promised you guys actually it looks like there's two small clutches so this is actually perfect it looks like she laid 16 she laid 15 so they're gonna fit perfectly in there there's actually gonna be one extra egg but I'll tell you right now, that egg right there is infertile. I could tell just by looking at it. Let me turn off the lights and we're going to candle these bad boys. Okay, let's see. So in order to tell if an egg is fertile, it's pretty simple. You see that white stuff right here at the top? So these eggs, as you can see, are just nine days old. So today's the 30th. This is 421. Check this out. So you can see the embryos already forming at the top. So cotta tortoises, it's very easy to see if they're fertile or not. It's a very quick process. You go at the bottom, that's all the yolk there. So this is a fertile egg. This is how you can tell it's fertile. And an infertile egg, this is what it looks like. So you can see, completely empty. Nothing is forming. So that's really it. There's just not much to it. There's either something inside or there isn't. So this is a fertile egg. This one's a little bit less developed, as you can see. There's the baby forming at the top. Nice and dark. Nothing at the bottom because it's just started. Now, when it's a lot closer to hatching, the entire egg would be blacked out. Probably check that out in a little bit with another egg. And again, infertile egg is going to be completely empty because there's nothing forming inside. See, so this is a bad egg. Let's see, these are, this one's a Nick still. So these were just laid yesterday. There's obviously not gonna be anything in any of them because it takes some time. These are shadows. They were laid two days ago. Still nothing in there. So they do take a little bit of time. Anyways, let's get back to putting the eggs in here now. Towards the front, we're going to be putting all of Nix's babies so that we could easily see them since they will be the first ones to hatch out. Now here we have Popeye. I'm going to put this one that has the marking here as well. That way we know that all this is up is Popeye. One nice thing about these containers is that it does hold the eggs sturdy. It's nice. We don't want them rotating at all. Because as you guys know, with the reptile eggs, if the embryo is moved around, it will drown inside of the egg. They cannot be rotated. They're not like chicken eggs. And there we go. Completely filled it up. 
And there we go. It looks pretty cool. I think this is honestly a really cool box to keep the eggs in. I don't know if I'm going to get more of these or more of the other container. Let me know what you guys think I should do. Obviously, I'm going to test these out, make sure it works well, and then I'll make a decision. Either way, it's the end of the season, so I don't really need to rush with it. I could take my time thinking about it, so we will see. This egg, I'm not going to throw out. I'm going to leave it in the incubator another week or so before I do throw it out to make sure that it's infertile. Wow, this is a heavy container with all these eggs in there. Pretty cool. And again, the thing I really like about this container that the other ones don't do well is it keeps the eggs extremely sturdy. I don't see them shaking or moving at all, which is very nice. We'll put this up here. And another thing that I really like about it is now I could take it out without having to move all of them. Because, for example, if I have to take this one out, I got to lift up the entire bin to take them out. If I wanted to work with this one, I got to move all these before I get to this one. So these are pretty cool so the other day we saw a tortoise laying eggs i honestly forgot exactly where it was we're just gonna start right here and see maybe it was over here let's just start in this mound let's see not somewhere in this area so you guys know i like to open a little hole take off the crust and then wiggle my fingers around underground until i find it i think it was a little closer to this pole i think i got it goodness this tortoise just touched my cheeks Oh, this freaking tortoise is over here, man. I can't ever collect eggs in peace. This ground does not smell good. So you guys know I have my beautiful Flemish giant right here. And this is pretty much her toilet, so... Digging through all the bunny poop. She's hopefully going to be getting an upgrade soon that's going to prevent this problem from continuing. Oh my goodness. Let's flip this bad boy over leave him right there. Unless she is didn't lay but i don't think that she didn't i think it's probably just deeper underground oh there it is finally we were literally just like a super thin layer let's see it did rain so that's why the ground is a bit like more compact around it makes it a little bit harder to pull it out but once we get the first one out, it should be easier because it opens up the, the chamber more. There's one bad boy. And two. This tortoise does not lay too many, so let's see how many she laid. Hopefully more than two. Oh, that's just a rock. Oh, yeah, there's more. Nice. A bigger clutch than expected. <laughs> so yeah like i said the rain kind of just cements it into the ground so it makes it a little bit trickier to get the eggs out but we got them that's why it's always nice to collect them as soon as possible but unfortunately i do have other things that i have to do not just simply collect tortoise eggs all day so whenever i have to especially with the red foots i i just leave them because the red foots don't really break the nest too much although they do sometimes break the eggs the sulcatas are the ones that usually break an egg like all the time. They tend to, if you leave them alone, they'll tend to break it. But there we go, four beautiful red foot eggs. Of course, we get home, mark the eggs. Now it's time to put them in the incubator. I'm feeling a little bit lazy, so I'm gonna just put them here for now and I'm gonna take care of them later. And by take care of them, I mean organize and put them into the other bin. Mm -hmm. 